had the perfect match. Just like me and Ronda Rousey. I mean, who could have thought that anyone else would be more perfect for each other? Except she's not in the Money in the Bank rewards this month. Bit of a problem. So where, oh where? Where are my WWE ice cream bars? Well, you're in the wrong company now, so you can't have those anymore, but Ronda Rousey is not here either because it's only Brock Lesnar in the Money in the Bank cards. If you haven't seen it yet, these, and some people have criticized this. And I have to say these, this is one of the most beautiful, especially when it comes to the pro version. Money in the Bank cards, I've ever seen. If I weren't holding these super coins back for a very specific purpose, then trust me, I'd be getting this card. Even if it is very, very, very underpowered, criminally underpowered by the guys at Supercar. Come on, Cat Daddy. Let's make the Money in the Bank. Let's give some love to our Money in the Bank cards again. You can get some crazy stuff, right? From these 4,000 packs, the 1,000 packs sometimes come with some amazing stuff. And then you just drop like 22,000 for something that barely scratches the upper Brock Lesnar card. Just saying, maybe it needs a bit of a refresh, a bit of a review. Put one card for 20 days, you know what? I can dig that. And I'm genuinely gutted that I'm gonna miss out from this. We'll check out the pro in just a second. But we've got to talk about where Ronda is because Ronda is not here. And as far as I'm aware, you still can't get her from anything. And the last time that she was available, and I said this in another stream recently, was if I'm not wrong, I think it was Raw Rumble tier two years ago and I have not been able to pull a Ronda Rousey for a long time. So I'm pretty sure that this card is not really, I mean, it, maybe I'm wrong, but of all the things that I know, I've not been able to come across either this Ronda or that Ronda, even if they're incredibly similar Rondas. I mean, there's no doubt she's going to come back to the game, but right now I think the stuff that went on at the Royal Rumble, where she won, spoiler alert, Sorry. And the surprise nature of her coming back means that she's probably not going to be around for a while. But let's go along to the leaderboard. We're going to find the demon. This is the man I found on this page showing the Brock Lesnar Pro. Before we get into this, in the comment section down below, I'd like to know how you've got on with this brand new mode, the perfect match, because we're going to do it in a second. But also, if you've managed to get yourself Brock, or alternatively, any Valentine's card, put it in the comment section down below. I want the reminder that yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the love behind me. Valentine's cards are in the game. I had a video planned, and then this new mode came out, so I thought I'd do it for you. But that doesn't stop the fact that yes, Twitch drops begin tomorrow, and they'll be live on my channel from 8 p.m. UK time. So make sure you are over there. We will be doing Super Pass giveaways. We'll be doing Survivors. We'll be doing Ring Domination. We'll be doing a lot of cool, crazy stuff. And I know for a fact there's going to be QR codes as well. So keep that in mind. So here's the Brock Lesnar card. Look at that beauty. This is almost identical to the match card. If you've seen the animated cards where the, their bodies would pop up and they'd be like, and they'd be like, you know, facing each other or they got a championship. That was what this almost to the pixel looks like. And I love, I love this a lot. It's just a shame there's not a second one so they can't go up against each other. But I like this. I was actually hoping that they do this instead of some kind of crazy Royal Rumble card with robots on it. I mean, who would want one of those? But yeah, I personally dig this a lot. So if you've got the spare super coins, I'd go for it. Just me personally, I think it's a great little design. Uh, you also got the possibility that it'll drop in price because it always does. And you'll find it in the store in season nine or whatever for like nothing. So do take that into account. Although I would just stress that Brock does come and go quite a bit. So that might be one you at least want to get your hands on the single of just in case. Let's get into the perfect match though. This is this brand new mode. Now, I've not tried it yet, but I've heard a couple of good stories and a couple of terrifying stories that this mode can be good. It's got great potential, but I've also heard some absolute horror stories. But the other story I heard was that the person lost everything basically and had spent like 4,000 credits on it. So it seems to be a mixed match of the roll the ring, walk the ropes and bounty breaker, kind of like a, Kind of the hybrid between those and the egg hunter that's where i think the the inspiration has come for from this and you do actually need to use your head it's not a case of just rng rng you actually have to use your head with this and i'm going to show you 
from what I've seen and what I've heard. You get a free go to start things off, but if you want to get yourself up to the big, 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 big rewards, you gotta pony up at least 4,000 credits, it is, as far as I'm aware. So it's not a cheap mode. But you start off with five moves. But if you can pull one singular pair, you get that reward. And the best bit is, is as long as you miss this card, the reshuffle card, the mismatch card, you'll be absolutely fine. If you pick one of these and then pick the mismatch card, you lose that round and you, you collect what you've got and you go on your merry way. So if you have selected one card, you have to avoid this at any costs. So let's start off. It's a free go, so if I mess up, it's not too bad, but I only get two moves. So I'm going to go to the left-hand side. We've got Xavier Woods there. I'm going to go to his right. There's Big E. I'm going to go down. There's Kaylee Ray. Oh, mismatch, reshuffling the board. Okay. So I've got to do it again. Oh, oh. I think there's only one of these, though. So I have to be very careful now. There's Finn Balor. Xavier Woods. Water. Haley Ray. Oh, this is not good. <sighs> See, this is what I mean. You've you got to be very careful. Sometimes this can be brutal. <laughs> but you can continue to the next board. You don't have to win to continue. So I'm going to continue. So it's not immediately if you get the mismatch, it, it kicks you off. It means you've got to try again and it becomes harder. But once you get to the final one, once you've done it, I believe that's it. You don't get another chance to continue. So let's start this one and hopefully we can get a match on this. That'll be that'll be really cool. Uh there's water. We're gonna go Bailey. So water Bailey. Center. Water. Water. There we go. So we get our match. Perfect match. You've earned a pair you found. I like these animations. This, these look pretty cool. It's like fire with like fireworks behind them. Pyro. Now this one goes up to the Valentine Superstar. For Maya, but the draft board is bigger. <laughs> so it doesn't actually give me a chance this one at, at, the, at the Maya because it is only a choice of those cards. So it's going to give me a chance of Ziggler if I'm lucky enough to get him. So let's start off. I'm going to go straight for the middle. There's Shelty B. Oh, okay. Perfect match. Wait. Now this last one. <laughs> Ooh. So it's a chance of getting some Valentine's cards, but again, it's whether you can get them or not is the hardest bit. And this is where I think this mode might not be as good as what it looks it could be, because it's all RNG, total RNG. So my Royal Rumble card for this one is GG Dolan, which actually would be a pro, I'm pretty sure. If not, it'll be a another pro, maybe a Fortify. So no, which sucks a little bit that there's no Valentine's cards on here, but we'll start, see how far we go. We're gonna go to the top as Undertaker and as Austin Theory. Oh, removing the highest, are you? Okay, that sucks. That really sucks. See, now I feel this is a bit of a waste. Let's make Foley. See, now I feel like this is, this is just a, a, a big, ugly waste. Let's make Foley. So we got the pair that we found, but ugh. that was 2000 credits. I just threw at that and you know, 2,500. That's pretty atrocious. I mean, in fact, there's only one of these is just, is this? you hit one, you lose the top card. Yeah, personally not a fan, wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I could literally spend 700 credits and probably get something better with a bonus chance of one of these. Let's see if it happens. If we, if we get worse, we, we get worse. If we get better, we get better. 700 credits and okay, it wasn't, it was almost exactly the same. So I spent 700 credits and got exactly the same as what was in this. So um, as much as I appreciate it, Cat Daddy, I'll, you can, you can keep perfect match and bring it back with something a little bit better because right now this is this is what we would class as a, as a hot garbage. But hey, listen, come over to twitch.tv forward slash Got barbecue. I really wish this was a more positive video. At least we have that Brock and that Brock looks pretty cool. Ring Domination is about to start. We have a huge video on the Super Pass and 
Valentine's packs tomorrow, but for now, I have to say that this is not the perfect match. This is, in fact, quite the worst, actually. Pretty bad. Before you go, make sure you are hitting that thumbs up to support the channel and to prove that you breathe oxygen, because that's kind of important, guys. Then subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Not only this, but WWE 2K22, because there is so much. The trailer yesterday was incredible, and I can't wait to see it come out. And obviously, Supercard will only amp up the craziness as we go into the road to WrestleMania. Leave a comment with how you got on with perfect or imperfect match, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Much love. Bye-bye.